If you've spent any time checking out the crypto news over the last year or so, the chances are that you've already heard of NFTs. The short term for a non-fungible token. NFTs are digital certificates of authenticity and ownership. It's similar to what we've been using for years to certify that artwork and even celebrity signatures are the real deal. Or you can think of a signed sports superstar jersey. In this case, NFTs do the same thing, but they're specifically designed for digital files, ranging from JPEGs and GIFs to MP3s. One GIF recently sold for an incredible $600,000, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. We have previously discussed the basics of NFT on this channel. If you don't know much about NFTs, you should watch that video. However, suppose you are familiar with NFTs. In that case, you probably already know the basics, so let's take a look at the question that's on a lot of people's minds. Which is how do I make an NFT? But before we go any further kindly hit the subscribe button. We are trying to get to our first 1000 subscribers. Your support is essential. Please turn on your notification to get notified each time we post a new video. Share our videos with your friends and let's build this community together. The good news is that it's pretty easy to get started and the market is still new and hungry enough that there's still plenty of room for new NFTs on the marketplace. And so, without further ado, let's dive on in and share everything you need to know about making an NFT. The first step is to generate your artwork. Generating the artwork is the easy part, assuming that you're already an artist. Again, the chances are that you've already been creating art. It's just that the revenue that's coming from it has been going to the sites you've posted it in, rather than to you as the artist. The only fundamental requirement for creating an NFT for digital art is to own the piece's copyright. That's because NFTs are all about ownership, and if you don't own the work in the first place, then there's no legal basis for you to sell it. Bear in mind that you may need to be able to prove ownership to a marketplace before you're able to create your NFT. It's also generally better to create original artwork than to create NFTs for existing artworks, purely because there have been several fake NFTs in recent years. Step 2 is Distribution. Distribution is interesting because you have a few different options available to you. The first thing you need to know is that there are a bunch of blockchains that support the NFT token standard, including Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Cosmos and Polkadot. You'll want to bear in mind that once you mint your NFT on a blockchain, it's basically impossible to move it on to another. So take some time to research each of the different blockchains for NFT to figure out if you have a preference. Go with Ethereum, if in doubt, because that's the most popular. However, Binance has more affordable transaction fees. We will discuss these differences later. However, I will talk about two distribution options. 1. Listing on an existing marketplace. If you're planning on taking this approach, you need to remember that the blockchain you choose will determine which marketplaces you can use. So, for example, if you go with Ethereum, which we'll be discussing more about in this video, then you can pick from a bunch of the already popular ones, such as OpenSea, Rarible, and Mintable. Creating an NFT on Ethereum is pretty easy, and it only requires an Ethereum wallet that supports NFTs. Coinbase will do the job nicely as well, and so will many others, including MetaMask and Trust Wallet. So choose your marketplace and follow the instructions that they provide. 2. Smart Contract Development and Minting This approach is a little more technical, and so you might want to find yourself a development partner who can help you. There is a range of tools that you can use to deploy a smart contract, with Web 3.0, CLI is arguably the easiest and quickest tool for compiling and deploying contracts. The process to achieving this includes the following. 1. Set up your environment. 2. Install the CLI tool. 3. Set the network. 4. Deploy. 5. Mint NFTs. 6. Transfer NFTs. But my advice is to start with the first option, you will need fewer resources, and it gets you going. This takes us to step 3. Which is promotion. With the distribution handled, it's time to think about marketing and promotion. As a general rule, all of the marketing best practices you're already aware of still apply. However, there are a few other considerations for you to think about. In this case, you have two main choices. 1. Build a marketing site to sell your NFTs. Suppose you are building your website to sell your NFTs. Then the advantage to this approach is that you own the site 
and have total control over it, which means that you can customize it however you want and deploy any tracking and other functionality that you might need. You also have total control over which NFTs are on sale. Of course, building your own website is time-consuming and resource-intensive, so you might want to avoid this one unless you're planning to bring multiple NFTs to market. You can think of it as like trying to build a branded social networking site in about 2007. You can do it. But it is not reasonable if you are starting. 2. Integration to other marketplaces. There's a reasonable likelihood that you've already looked into other marketplaces because they can handle the distribution for you. If you're using these marketplaces for distribution, you may want to simply use those as your promotional hub. The downside to this is that all of your marketing efforts will be going to a third-party platform rather than to a web property that you own yourself. You also won't have access to analytical data or other useful functionality in the same way that you would if you built your own site. Hopefully, these marketplaces will likely add those functions over time. The analysis is essential for sales. But there are advantages too. Perhaps the most obvious is that it's the easiest option. But, you have to also bear in mind that you're trading convenience for functionality. You need to decide which of these two serves you best. Let's recap. Now that you know how to develop an NFT and bring it to market, it's over to you to get started. The good news is that we've covered enough here to help you out along the process without risking going into specifics on marketplaces that are changing every day. Here are the things you should keep in mind. 1. Create your own art. That creative force cannot be neglected. But, if you don't know how to, find a partner or learn how to create art. There are a lot of resources online. 2. List on an existing marketplace. It's easier and less costly than building your own smart contract. 3. Promote your work. You have to promote your work for more visibility and you need an element of luck as well. But who said you couldn't sell your art for a million bucks? 4. Keep creating art and go through the first three processes again till you get it right. Consistency is key. If you've already got experience in bringing NFTs to market, we'd love to hear how you did it. So be sure to share your story and keep the discussion going in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Please help us get to our first 1000 subscribers. Share this information with your friends and click the notification bell to get notified when we post another exciting video. We look forward to hearing from you. Cheers!